Our topic today is math from a biblical worldview, and I know that that's a rather odd topic. If you had asked me 15 years ago how math could be viewed or taught from a biblical worldview, I would have looked at you kind of strangely and thought, well, maybe you were talking about adding a Bible verse to the top of the page or pulling out a biblical example within the text. But apart from that, I just saw math as a bunch of facts and problems to solve. But when you really sit back and ponder it, math is really a way of describing real life consistencies that are all around us. I mean, we can take one of something and one of something else, and we end up with two. The only reason we bother to memorize or you have your child memorize all those math facts is because they really work outside of a textbook. They describe the consistencies that are all around us. Well, why are there consistencies all around us? Well, because God, a faithful, consistent God, created them and sustains them day in and day out. He is the one holding all of those consistencies together. That math is but a way of describing. Which means really every time you solve an addition problem or a multiplication problem or a math problem and see that it still works, it is shouting out at you that God is still on His throne. He is still faithfully holding all things together and you can trust Him. Jeremiah 33, 25, and 26 tells us, If my covenant be not with day and night, and if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth, and another version calls those ordinances fixed laws, that would include those consistencies like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David, my servant. So God was saying to his people, Look, I'm a consistent covenant-keeping God. You can see that in what I'm holding together all around you. And I will be just as faithful to my covenant with you. You can rely on what God says. That's math message. When we look at math from that perspective, all of it transforms. It becomes a useful tool to explore God's universe and to serve Him all while we're worshiping Him. Over the last couple of years, I've been working on a curriculum series for junior high that teaches math from this perspective. And I'm excited to announce that the first year of the curriculum is now available. Principles of Mathematics is packed with history, science, and real life examples that help students understand how the concepts they're learning are real life tools that proclaim God's faithfulness. The curriculum includes worksheets that train students to apply what they learn, along with quizzes and tests. It's my prayer that as students use this curriculum and study math from a biblical worldview, They'll be reminded of God's greatness and encouraged that they can indeed trust Him completely.